One thing that I love about Twerp is on Spotify, you can put your band's band's bio on there. It always feels weird, but anyway. Um, and their band's bio is interdimensional band slash style icon. And honestly, I can't think of a better way to describe this band. So let's dive into it. Digital Nightmare by Twerp. So Twerp is a Canadian funk kind of nerd rock band. Uh, I think a lot of people know of them because they play back up to Ninja Sex Party. Uh, they are the touring band with Danny Sex Bang and Ninja Brian. Uh, and actually you find Danny on a couple of the tracks throughout their runtime. I got into them with their Over the Top album that was released in 2020. Uh, I think I actually listened to it in 2021, so I kind of missed out when the album was released, but it was clearly one of my favorite tracks and albums from 2020, and it holds some of my favorite music to this day. Um, and I think a lot of people kind of got onto the twerp bandwagon with Together Through Time, which has their Starlight Brigade track on it, uh, kind of their most popular track. Uh, again, it features Danny Sexbang on it. And yeah, now we come to their sixth studio record of Digital Nightmare. Now, last year we got a lot of singles. I was kind of getting like really, really excited for it. You know, like they dropped Have You Heard early in the year and I absolutely adored that single. Then later on they put out VHS, which I also really enjoyed. You know, very retro 80s, kind of, you know, 8-bit style pump up the jam music in that sense. And then after VHS, we got Friends of the Blue, which is kind of like a bigger EP with four tracks of Birth of Blue, VHS, Summer Every Day, and Have You Heard? And this got me really, really excited for whatever Twerp was going to be putting out next, because those tracks, Have You Heard, Summer Every Day, VHS, and Birth of the Blues, they were some of the best music that I've heard from Twerp in a very long time. And then later on in the year, they put out Ladybug as a kind of a tease, a single for this upcoming uh, album, along with, uh, you know, the, at the beginning of this month, A Human's Touch. So I was really excited about this album. You know, the singles were doing their work. They were getting me excited. All the EPs and singles that came before, super excited. Then Digital Nightmare dropped and... I gotta be perfectly honest, when it first dropped and I had those first couple of listens, I was a little disappointed with this one. The first track of Digital Nightmare, the title track, and A Human's Touch, which we heard at the beginning of the month, really those two are the big tracks from this album. Those are the ones that keep me coming back for more and get me excited to listen to this album a second time or a third time. I guess the rest, like, they're still good, but I feel like this was kind of like the same thing that New and Improved had, where, like, there were two or three tracks that got me really excited. I loved what the band was doing, but other than that, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. One of the star performers, as always, is the bass player. The bass on here is just stellar. The bass player I hold in high regard, similar to Les Claypool, um, you know, Getty Lee, and the master that is Chris Squire. Like, this guy can sit on that same platinum because I love his bass work on here. It's so funky. It's so chunky. It's so immediate within the mix. It doesn't just play with whatever rhythm is going on. He sets the tone perfectly. I also love how there's so much of that synth wave music on here without it feeling drab, without it feeling monosyllabic, without it feeling droney. Basically takes the synth wave from the 80s and puts a hell of a lot more funk on it. And so it's that dynamic that makes twerp what twerp is, and I absolutely love it for that sense. And all that is still found on this Reese of Digital Nightmare. I just wish it was a little bit more immediate and a little bit more content for you the uh, the next big track off of this album after digital nightmare which opens the album up perfectly once again when i heard this track as the beginning track on here i got so excited i got so excited i'm like they're here they're doing it i'm so ready for this record and content for you came out and it's still good it's still there but i was always waiting for it to transform into something exciting and something more. As a content creator myself, I get it. It's like, you gotta feed the machine, you gotta keep going, you gotta continue it on, and there's that constant drive, that constant drivel, but 
it does feel like a little bit of an off-brand Daft Punk track from Random Access Memory that I'm like, oh, I don't know. Like, I always sought Twerp out as being, like, where Daft Punk could have gone if they went more funk rather than electronic. And this just kind of feels like a watered-down version of that. I also think it's kind of, uh, again, it falls within that synth wave kind of vapor wave aspect because the next two tracks dream vacation and htm l-o-o-v-e is kind of same same like they're very subtle they're not like they're kind of that daft punk dance style groove to it but it doesn't have that same kind of punch it doesn't say have that same kind of oomph and it isn't until we get to online which is kind of a star packed track for the nerd rock community you have montaigne and tom cardi both being on this track and i mean at this point in time in 2024 you couldn't have found two of the bigger nerd rock stars out there at the moment to help them out so you would think with online there'd be a little bit more of an oomph to it and i just found like it was fine it was just fine I don't know. I don't know why I'm not connecting with this. You know, we're kind of nearing the halfway point with Dance Floor Cold War, and it's one of the first tracks that really has kind of the get up and go that I was hoping for with Twerp. Uh, all the tracks up to this point were, again, a little bit lackluster, didn't have that same kind of energy and drive that I was really excited for with another track like this. And Dance Floor Cold War at least has a little bit of that, but it didn't get me excited the way that some of their past works have. Same with Dare to Dream. I don't know. It just feels like an 80s synthwave pop track that was kind of left on the cutting floor back in the 80s. Um, and Firewall at least has a little bit of a get up and go. Like it has that kind of hair metal glam rock style to it that I appreciate. The energy is definitely back in there. It kind of reminds me of like a deep purple, like fireball kind of an idea. And honestly, one of the better tracks on here that I really enjoy is Business uh, International Business System or IBS. And I kind of enjoy that with... Uh, uh, Jazz Emu on there and this if more of the tracks were like this on this album I think I would have really appreciated it and really enjoyed it but unfortunately yeah then we get Ladybug which we already know again and again which is the second last track which plays more as a play out to Ladybug than anything else and it's fine it's all right but I don't know I just feel like this real estate could have been used up somehow else uh, but then we get to A Human's Touch which we've already heard and I still love this track and I don't, yeah, it, it ends off on a very high note, so I can at least appreciate it for that. So in the end, this is an album that I was so hyped for, especially with all the singles that came out before and all of the kind of EP material that we got last year. I was hyped. I was ready. And what we got was a serviceable, pretty good twerp album that I'm not all that excited for. So I don't know. This is kind of like the first big disappointment for me of the year and I was really hoping for a lot more. I still enjoy listening to this and it it is a little bit more on the mellow side so I enjoy listening to this in a more mellow kind of landscape on the when I need just you know not quite comatose mellow but enough of a groove metal that it kind of you know kind of like the lo-fi beats with a little bit more of an edge to it. That's kind of where I'm at with the digital nightmare. Um, so yeah in the end I will say Digital Nightmare by Twerp is one that I would ultimately stream. You know, if I take a step back, if I take a step back and look at this album objectively, it isn't their worst album. It definitely isn't their worst album. It's it's definitely one of their better albums, but I think because of what I was bringing to the table, it was the album that I was most disappointed over. So that's kind of where I'm at for this album. I would still give this one a check. You know, I would still give this one a listen to. I might not have been all that favorable to it, but maybe you are. I would still personally recommend Together Through Time as well as Over the Top. To me, those are the two albums that you need to listen to. Those are the ones that I keep coming back to time and time again. So yeah, yeah, this isn't even a misstep. You know, I really like where they're going within this direction and I'm even more excited to see where they go from here. It's just... I'll be listening to some of their other music before I return to this one. So that's what I've got for Digital Nightmare. A little bit of a disappointment, but hey, they can't all be bangers. You know, they can't all be bangers. So yeah, what did you guys think about this record? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Whatever you thought, please let me know by commenting down below. And uh, that's what I've got. So thank you all so much for watching. As always, you guys are definitely the best. And until next time, notes out.